Good morning, everybody. Carmen here from Quality Sewing and Vacuum. I'm one of the owners of Quality Sewing, and this is our really fun new How Do I series. And we're doing this live every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. And Riva or myself or Paul or Mike, one of us is gonna come on and talk to you about something fun. So today, we are talking about how do I use these new notions? So if you are familiar with Quality Sewing and Vacuum and you already get our catalog, you should have recently received this great new catalog in your mail. And inside here, we always put a whole bunch of new notions and accessories or just some of our favorite notions and accessories. All of our machines and things are in here as well, our special offers right now. But today, what I'm gonna go through is I'm going to talk about a lot of the different notions that are in this catalog and tell you a little bit more about how they work and how you might use them and how they might serve your sewing, quilting, or embroidery needs. So we are just gonna get started. I'm gonna set this, drop this catalog just right there. I might need it later. So you can see here, I have a whole bunch of really fun stuff to talk about today. And I have it all on the wall here. And then I'm also gonna be doing some demonstrations. So I'll just be sort of moving around. Feel free, if you are watching this live, I love that you are live today. And please ask some questions. And um, if some questions pop through, we will try to answer them. Um, and then always, if you are watching this after we've gone live, you can still post a question there and we'll, we will get back to you and answer it. Because we really actively manage our Facebook page and we want to answer your questions because that's what we're here for. So we will start with the new fun trio thread sets by Floriani. Um, these are really fun. You can see it's like a rainbow. You get three in this cute little package. I think these would make a great gift. Sometimes, I don't know about you, but when you're embroidering, I like to have all of my coloring crayons. And a lot of times you're making a flower or you're doing something, you need a dark purple, a light purple, and a medium purple, right? And so this is great because they have put them all together. Um, I think these could also make really fun gifts for your sewing or embroidery friends. So these are brand new by Floriani, um, and they are on sale right now. Next, we are going to talk about the new Lux Sparkle Vinyl. Now this might be, and I'm excited about all of these things, but this is probably the product I am most excited about. So first of all, what is Lux Sparkle Vinyl and how might you use it? So you can see here, it comes in all of these gorgeous colors. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you something I made with it. So right here, I've got this cute baby onesie and, um, and I put, I've appliqued this vinyl in here. So this vinyl is really unique because a lot of our previous vinyls that we have had, they are all adhesive vinyls or, or iron on vinyls, right? So they would be something where you might, you know, iron it to a shirt or you might um, adhesive it, like sticky it to a cup or something. Um, but this vinyl is really cool. So I'm gonna grab it here and show you. It feels totally different. It has this cloth back, which is awesome. Um, and it is designed where you can use it for applique. You, it feels much more like a fabric. So you can use it for applique. You could also use it if you were doing like um, one of those 3D sort of embroideries or something where you wanna just actually use this as your fabric. You could do that. This is completely machine washable. You can even iron it with a low iron and it totally works great. And then all of the glitter in here, I don't know about you, but sometimes when I have bought stuff like this for my kids from the store, the glitter on here just like falls everywhere. And every time they wear it, there's glitter getting everywhere and it gets in your laundry. This is totally in there. The glitter's not going anywhere, but you still get that shine and that effect. And you can see from here, look at all of these just amazing, fun, glittery colors, right? You've got every color that you might want. There's 10 different colors there. Um, and it's really easy to use. And it just has a great, um, a great feel in your hand. And it works really nicely right in here. So I'm gonna put this guy down. Let's talk a little bit about how I made this embroidery. So this, is, this embroidery was actually just a design that it was built in, I did this on our brother, it was built, it's built into the machine, it's just a little heart. And then we put a fun decorative stitch around it to applique this down. Um, and if, you, um, if you're not familiar with how applique on machine embroidery works, it's super easy. So what you do is you, um, you pick your design, an applique design in your embroidery machine, and then you, the machine will first do an outline. So it'll do one stitch and it will stop and ask you uh, to lay in your applique fabric. So it gives you the outline and then you lay down your applique fabric like this was just a square. You can see here that we cut out just a square that we first laid down there, right? 
was a square, laid that down. And then, um, and then the embroidery machine will do another stitch around, a little bit denser stitch, and then you trim it along the edge. And then the machine, um, the machine will ask for the next color, and then it will go over and complete this. So you get this beautiful finished applique. It makes it super easy in your embroidery machine. Um, and it's very fun. So let's talk about the different things I use to, to hoop this guy. So you can see here, we use the Perfect Stick Stabilizer. Um, this is Perfect Stick, and so what it does is we actually hoop the stabilizer, and the stabilizer has a sticky inside. So you can see here, we're just gonna tear this off now so you can sort of see the whole, the whole thing of how this Perfect Stick works. And then we'll talk about the other stabilizer I used here. So the way Perfect Sticks works is it comes and has two, uh, two layers of paper. And uh, what you do is you first hoop the whole paper with the top layer and the, and the bottom layer, and then you score it and peel away this top paper, and that leaves you with this great sticky back. And this sticky is awesome because then when you have your project like this, you can just lay it on there, and then you don't have to worry about hoop burn, you don't have to worry, um, uh, it makes it a lot easier to place things, particularly stretchy fabric like this onesie, right? You wouldn't want to like stretch it out and hoop it. And then when you pulled it back out, imagine what would happen, the whole thing would just like sort of shrink together and then the design might be puckery. Um, so this is a really, um, a really great way to hoop um, odd shaped objects or just or, or knit materials using a perfect stick. And then the other thing that I use on the back here is called power mesh. Okay, and this is one of the, the things that I also have featured here. Power mesh comes in three different colors. There's the white, the beige that I've used here, and black. And power mesh is actually a place no-show mesh. So if you're familiar with Floriani stabilizers and you've used them a lot before, no-show mesh was probably one of your favorites, one of our best-selling stabilizers. And what Floriani has done is they have improved no-show mesh and turned it into power mesh. And they have done that by making it so this, this this new power mesh is hold it's a little bit it has a little bit thicker than previously than no show mesh and what that does for you is instead of just allowing it to stitch 6000 stitches of density to hold, hold that weight it'll, it'll go up to 10000 now so this is great if you have really dense designs and then let's talk about why I put it back here so i put this back here because i wanted to make sure that this design on the front stays nice and flat. Let me flip this back around. Now that this embroidery is all done, I want this to stay really nice and flat. So I have actually used the fusible version. This comes in either non-fusible or fusible. You can see here with the fusible one, it has this like fusy stuff on the back. Here's the front of it. Um, and so I just ironed this on so that way it's staying on there super flat. And then what this will do is this will stay on the garment and help hold this flat. And then because this is so sheer and because I use beige, you can't see it from this side. And that's why there's three different colors because depending on your project, you might want a diff, depending on the fabric, the fabric color, right? You might want a different color. So like actually when you're doing like a white shirt, the, um, the beige works really well to keep it, or I think they call it natural now. It used to be called beige and the new color is natural. Um, and uh, it will make it so you can't see that stabilizer through. There's nothing work worse than making a white t-shirt and seeing the line of your stabilizer, right? And then finally, it also is very soft. So it's very soft to your skin. So it's, um, it's nice for something like this little baby guy right here. Um, okay, so that is no-show mesh stabilizer. Um, I... Let's see here. I have like so many more parts of this to talk about. So let's just really quickly talk about this onesie. This is a Kimber Ball onesie. I don't know how many of you have been noticing, but this onesie is already cut open. And so it comes like that from Kimber Bell. Um, they make a whole bunch of really cool blanks. And they come in lots of different colors and sizes. I've got the gray and the peaked one here. And they're really cute. They come with a striped one and a polka dot one. But what's really great about them is that you when you start, um, you can embroider it, and it's super easy because it's open, right? It's not those little tiny onesies that you can't quite hoop. And then all you do is just stitch the shut. And then you have this really adorable gift or something for, um, for a baby. Um, so that is all of this good stuff. And let's talk a little bit more about stabilizer. So <laughs> there are lots of different types of stabilizer. 
I don't know how many of you do embroidery, but if you do, you know there's a different stabilizer for almost every application, right? Like with this t-shirt here, um, or this you know onesie, which is like t-shirt material, um, I used both that perfect stick and that no-show mesh, right? And if you're using a towel, you might also use a topper, but there's lots of different types of stabilizer, and Floriani has recently come out with this great workbook. And so this workbook, um, it has all of their different stabilizers listed in here. And you can see from the table of contents, it has like, it starts with a, um, a little guideline of like, this is what we recommend. So it's sort of like the table of contents is great because you can be like, okay, great. Um, shoulder and knit baby onesie. Um, design type, medium weight design, meaning it doesn't have like tons, it's not super dense, which is a normal medium weight. We re recommend using, you know, the no-show, the no-show mesh with a power mesh, right? Um, and it lists it there for you. So then you can be like, okay, great. Now I know I want to go find out more about that stabilizer. And then you can go find that stabilizer back here in the book. So if we go back here to the power mesh, which is right here, um, it will tell you for each type of stabilizer, you know, what it is. Like this is a 1.8 ounce sheer cutaway stabilizer, right? It tells you how to use it. Um, it gives you some tips. Um, and it tells you the different sizes of the stabilizers available and then the different colors. Um, and then it also has this great spot where like, I don't know about you, but what happens to me sometimes is I have this roll of stabilizer like this. It's totally undone. I don't remember, I didn't put a little wrap around it that tells me what it is. I have three of them that sort of look similar, but you can touch, usually when you can touch them, you can sort of tell what they are, but it would be great to cut out a sample of it, put it in this book, and so then that way, when you weren't sure what it was, you can just reference your book and figure out which one it is and how it's gonna work. Um, so this book is super handy, um, and this is made by Floriani. It's called the Stabilizer and Tool Workbook, and so you're probably wondering, well, what are the tools in your car when you've only talked about stabilizer? There's also, it also in the back here um, has a lot of different tools. So when we go to the after the stabilizer, it talks about their different um, tools like the tweezers and their needles um, and their stiletto, um, some of the tools that they have that Floriani offers, um, pressing cloth. It talks about their different types of thread and why you might use them. Um, it has all of the Floriani thread swatches in the back here, which is also super handy. I don't know about you, but you know, if you don't already own all 360 colors, this would be a great way where you could circle the ones that you have. So that way you would know when you were in store and you were buying some other thread to go along with your, um, with your project that you're working on to make sure you're not duplicating and buying a thread you already have at home. Um, so this is really helpful and it tells you which ones are top selling, which ones also come in the different thread sets. So if you have the 360 thread set, if you have the, the spectrum thread set, it tells you which one of these thread, threads come in there. So this is also a really handy guide that's in the back here. Um, and then in the back, there's also all of these places for, for notes. Um, so it's a really handy, um, a really handy guide right here. Okay, so I'll put this guy down. Let's see what else do we have. So we've covered all of these guys. Let's go over here and talk about serger thread. So I'm sure many of you have a serger at home. Sergers are awesome, right? It's how most of our ready-made clothes are made because this, these seams all in here are all done, right? You have a four thread over edge. What's beautiful about a serger is it's gonna finish your edge, right? And it's going to, um, it's gonna actually cut off your seam allowance and finish your edge. It also works great on stretchy fabrics. Um, you know, I've always sort of talked about how a serger is like a microwave, right? You need your sewing machine or your oven for like the core things, but microwaves are fast. Sergers really help with garment construction. So this month we have three different um, serger thread packs um, featured in our catalog. And so I want to take a minute to sort of talk about what sort of thread they are and how you might use them with your serger. So the very first pack we have here this has regular standard arrow lock thread. And so this is just really good high quality Madeira um, serger thread. And we always recommend using high quality thread, no matter if this is with embroidery, sewing, um, or quilting, because high quality thread is going to be more consistent, meaning like the batches of colors will always be more consistent. So when you run out of a color and you need a little more of it to finish your project, those dye lots are gonna be more consistent. The other thing about really good quality thread is that it's going to break less and it's gonna be a lot less linty. So I don't know, you know, our sewing machines can really get clogged up with lots of lint and stuff. 
Um, and the less linty the thread is, the better it is for your machine. And it's also gonna help you get just prettier, you know, it's just gonna work better. Um, and all of the thread we carry at Quality Sewing, we carry the Floriani, we carry the Quilter Select, uh, we carry the Aurafil, the Aerofill, um, the Aerolock, the Aeroflock, right? All of these different threads. There's so many of them by most with King Tat. We carry most of the major, um, the major brands of thread, um, and they are all really good quality. So, um, so this is all really good quality surgery thread, but what's fun about this box is it's coming with white and gray and black, and it comes with some regular surgery thread, but it's also coming with Aeroflock. And Aeroflock is like woolly nylon, and then this package here is coming with all of this Aero flock thread. So let's talk about what this woolly nylon, nylon threads. Question? Yeah, so going back to the embroidery, yes. there was a question that Kay asked, would the stabilizer that goes on the inside to keep embroidery flat and smooth work for applique when you applique a fabric cut out to t-shirt knit or sweatshirt knit? Yes, it would. The power mesh would be great for that. It'll help keep it flat and beautiful. And that's the interesting thing about stabilizer. Part of the reason why you want to learn more about stabilizer is what I have found for most projects, I often use more than one, right? A lot of times I'm using a couple different backings or a backing and a top. But for each, um, for each project, there's different stabilizers. And actually later on in one of our future one of these, we're going to actually be doing a how do I do this embroidery and we'll actually take you through each of the stabilizer steps. So, um, so keep, you know, keep posted for that one. It'll be later at the, at the end of September. Um, okay, so let's talk about Aeroflock thread. So here we have, um, this is actually a spool of Aeroflock. And you can sort of see, uh, I don't know, I might have to get closer. It's really pretty thick, right? If you compare it to like this string of regular thread, I don't know, can you see that, Carrie? Yeah. Um, that it's, it's a lot thicker. It's sort of puffy. Um, and what's great about this is this goes in your looper when you're doing a two or three thread over edge and it creates, it makes the stitch look a lot more dense. So what I'm going to show you here is, so here's an example with a three thread over edge. And on this side, I have that arrow flock thread. Okay. And then this side, I just have used regular surging thread. Do you see how this has filled that in? It really does a beautiful job making that seam look very finished. This is great when you have like a table runner or you have something where you actually want to highlight your stitch and you want it to be all sort of finished or it's also great if you are using a fabric where the fabric little slubs are like popping out of the side and you want to keep that all flat and wrapped in you can it'll work really well there the other place that this works really well i'm going to show it now on a a, a rolled hem so then you can do this as a two or three thread rolled hem but you can see the rolled hem sort of rolling over the edge and you can see over here, this is the regular thread. And see how much denser and prettier it is with that woolly nylon. It really does a lovely job. Um, a lovely job. I love doing this if I'm going to just make like some quick napkins, right? I can just do a little rolled hem with some woolly nylon. Or if I'm doing a table runner or something that I just want to put a quick finish edge on and I want it to look really professional and lovely, I use woolly nylon. And so what's great about this is this is a set. This set here has some standard colors of woolly, right? It comes, not woolly nylon, it's Aero Flock. Madeira Aero Flock, it is the same product. So it's not the same exact product, but it's different manufacturer. We really love the Madeira version of this called Aero Flock, but it's coming with the Aero Flock in the white, gray, and black, and in the regular Aero Lock. And this is why it's confusing, right? Aero Lock, Aero Flock, you can see really similar, just a little bit different um, uh, serger feds. You get some of both. And then this is awesome because it comes, this is all of, all different Aero Flock. So exactly that nice thick puffy thread, you know, it's a whole bunch of rolls of this right here and um, spools rather. And it comes with all of the different colors. And this guy is on sale, you know, it's regularly $84 on sale for $39.99. And you know, I have not been talking about the prices or anything in this, but all of this stuff is on sale. It is all on sale on our website. Um, you can all find it on our website. You can also find it in all of our different quality sewing store locations every month, month when we have a catalog. Um, our catalogs, I guess, come up more like every six weeks. But whenever we have a brand new catalog, all of the product that is in our catalog, we make sure it's in our stores and we make sure it's on our website. So if you're curious to find out more about any of this product, please check out our website. Please come in store. You can also order on the website and then just have it pick up in store. Or if you don't live locally, we can also ship these items to you. Um, so, so yeah, so if you have more questions, we can also just pop the questions about the price day. I can let you know. Today, I really want to focus a little bit, you know, on 
how to use these different things, right? So that is what this arrow flock thread is. And then this guy right here is more of just a normal, um, normal searcher thread. But what's really fun about this is the variegated. And so what's cool about variegated is you can really see it. It's really, it makes a really fun texture when you're doing that, um, that stitching that you want to see and you want a really pretty effect. Um, so that's what these are. Um, and this guy is also on sale, um, I believe, for $39.99. Okay, so there is our fun serger, the different fun serger things. So we are going to, I'm going to sort of, always try to figure out the best camera angle here. So I'm going to point to some stuff and then we're going to come over here and talk about it. So oh, up here, you can see we have a lot of different Quilter Select products. So I'm just going to first tell you a little bit about what makes Quilter Select unique, and then I'm going to go over here and sort of show you some more of the exactly what we're talking about up here. So Quilter Select products are have all been designed by Alex Anderson. And Alex Anderson has been a quilter for years. I don't know if you're familiar with her, but she has written many quilting books, written a lot of quilting patterns. She has been quilting for a very long time. And so she partnered with RNK, and RNK is the company that owns Floriani and all of those great products. She partnered with RNK, and they came up with an entire quilting line that is designed for the quilter. Because what she wanted is she wanted tools that would work better than what was on the market currently. And so it's, and the reason why we champion all of these products is because they really just work better. They're similar to other products that are out there, but because they were so thoughtfully created, they actually really make simple things like cutting and using rulers easier. So I'm gonna walk over here and I'm gonna show you some of the different things here. I'm gonna grab a sip of my water. Okay, so you can see up here, there's lots of different rulers, rotary cutters, all of those things. We're gonna talk about how those are unique. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is this great set here. This is a, um, it's called the anniversary, um, it's called the anniversary tool kit. And it comes with a lot of great stuff here. And I have all of the different things separate right here. So it's coming with a 9 by 12 mat. It comes with the glue stick, the rotary cutter, and it's coming with the 6.5 by 6.5 um, square ruler. So let's just talk about what makes these products unique from, a, um, from some of the other products on the market. So Quilter Selects mats. They are always, there's a dark blue side and there is a bright green side. And what's great about this is it can really help when you're trying to sort of see your lines depending on the color of your fabric. It's nice to have both, um, both color options. The other thing that's really great about all of these mats is that the line, the, everything lines up perfectly with the mats to the rulers. And so you're able to get more, um, more precision when you're cutting um, and they work together. So the next thing is what makes these rulers unique. My favorite thing on these rulers is the sticky back. So you can sort of see how it's, you know, like frosted instead of being a, a completely see-through ruler. And that's because there's this little bit of um, coating back here and it makes it grippy. And so what that does for me is when I, you know, when I have a block or something and I'm cutting, this really holds it down there so that I'm not it's not gonna shift anywhere, right? So okay, we're gonna put this on here and you can sort of see it better. I'm gonna use more of an actual cutting mat that I have out so I don't have that one out. But you can see here when I put this here, it is really grippy. It's not gonna go anywhere. The fabric's not moving, right? It's gripping to the fabric. I can even spin this and my fabric, my fabric isn't moving because my ruler's not slipping. So I don't know how many of you have had your hand down there and then you're cutting right with your rotary cutter and your ruler does that, right? That is the worst, uh, particularly when you're cutting strips or something and you've been doing a lot of cutting. Um, there is nothing worse than your ruler slipping. So these rulers are amazing. Um, they come with, they have a beautiful grippy back, um, which is awesome. The other thing that is really unique is I don't know if you heard me say, but this is a 6.5 by 6.5 ruler. So instead of it being six by six, this is 6.5 by 6.5. And the reason why this is great is because what size do you need when you're squaring a block? If you're doing a six inch block, you actually need a 6.5 inch ruler if you wanna just square it, right? Because you have your seam allowance of a quarter inch on each side all the way around because you haven't sewn it, right? That quarter inch will go away and it will become a six inch block once you sew it together. But when it is just a block, having the 6.5 by 6.5 is really 
really helpful. So you can see here, right, if I was going to actually then square this up, I can just square it, square it, right? I can turn it. It makes it super, super easy. Um, and I can just square my block just like that. The other cool thing, so that is, so what comes in, I get distracted here, I'm like, I want to tell you about all the cool things. There's so many things. So in this kit here, it has that 9 by 12 mat, that 6.5 by 6.5 ruler. It also then comes with their rotary cutter. So let's just talk about what makes it unique. This is the 45 millimeter version of the rotary cutter. There's also a 60 millimeter version, which I'll tell you about. In this package, it comes with this 45. And the reason why we love this rotary cutter is because it is sort of heavy. And you might say, well, why would you want a heavy rotary cutter? That sounds like maybe not great. No, it is amazing. Because what that means is the rotary cutter is doing the work to put that pressure and to cut the fabric for you. Instead of you having to push down really hard, it's doing all the work. So you don't have to push near as hard and get that perfect, that perfect cut. Uh, the other thing is that you can see here, it's just a little to lock and unlock this. You just push this down, this button here, you just push it. And then I can, right here now, the blade is out. And all I have to do is tap it and it is locked. So, you know, rotary cutters are honestly pretty dangerous, right? Like you wouldn't want to like have a blade out and like nick your hand against it because it's very sharp. And so it makes it very easy where you can keep it locked all of the time. And all you're doing is you're just, if I'm going to go here, right, and I was going to cut this, I would just cut here and then I would tap it and it would lock it for me. Okay. Um, and then the other thing about this is because this blade can be on either side, this is, um, uh, or because this can flip either way, right? This is a totally ambidextrous rotary cutter. So if you are left-handed or right-handed, you can use this beautifully, um, which is also a really great thing. So this set then, like I said, comes with a 45 millimeter rotary cutter, which is the standard size. And then it's also coming with, uh, it's also coming with the glue stick. This is 100% our favorite fabric glue stick. It is so easy. A uh, pro tip. Uh, the fabric loose actually works great to even tap down your uh, your like pieces of stabilizer in your workbook. Um, do you have a question? No, Carolyn just mentioned that she's glad that Coulter Select focused on getting the lines on the mat to align and match up with the rulers because most brands don't do that. That is 100% true. And that is the reason why I highly recommend getting all of your pieces, all of the Coulter Select pieces to match up. So you have the mat, you have the rulers, um, you have the rotary cutter because they work so beautifully together. And when everything lines up, you are going to, it's going to be much easier for you to square those blocks, square those quilts, cut everything straight the first time, right? I think that's maybe the very first thing, right? If we cut it straight the first time and then we sew it straight, it's really easy to do the rest of it. Um, and it definitely helps you because all of the, everything lines up. The mat lines up with the ruler. Um, and so this glue stick, this is just a great glue stick. Um, it's sort of yellow. So you can actually see it on your fabric, which is great. Um, and it comes with a refill and it's on sale right now. And that comes in that bundle. So let's talk about the difference between the 45 millimeter versus the 60 millimeter rotary cutter. So most of us have a 45 millimeter rotary cutter, right? Because this has just been the standard. We've all had it for, you know, you have a rotary cutter. Awesome. And you change those blades out, of course, and they, for all of the culture select rotary cutters, you can buy blades in um, a one pack or five pack. So, you know, um, it's a better value to buy the five pack. And most of us, you know, at some point you nick your blade and you need a new blade. Uh, so that way you get that really beautiful cutting. Um, but the 60 millimeter rotary cutter, um, I didn't really understand when this first came out. It's sort of embarrassing because I've been in the sewing industry basically my whole life. So this is my, you know, my parents started this company. It's a family business. But a 60 millimeter rotary cutter allows you to cut through more layers of fabric. That's what that large blade does for you. And so I love this. I've been so excited to use this uh, because, you know, I'm trying to be really efficient. I'm trying to get stuff cut as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible. And a big 60 millimeter rotary cutter does that for you. So, and then it has all the same features we talked about with this one, right? It's heavy, it's, you can use ambidextrous. Um, it works really easily where you can just, you know, it'll cut here and then you can tap it to lock it. Um, great product. We were really excited when this came out last year. So we'll put these guys back up here and let's talk about a couple other things. So I've got all this other stuff over here. I'm going to get my computer to wake up. Maybe there we go. So we've been talking about all of these 
point, we talked about that 6.5 by 6.5 inch ruler, right? So I know most of us started out, at least I have always previously had rulers that were like, you know, six by six, eight by eight. So, um, so they, Floriani has come out like up here, we've got the 8.5 by 12 inch, we have the 1.5 by 12 inch and the 2.5 by 12 inch. So there's lots of great ruler reasons to have a ruler that has that extra half inch. It's great for squaring things up. But what I wanted to let you all know about, I don't know how many of you have been getting our catalogs, right? They sort of look like this, the one this month I had in my hand a minute ago. But every month, Reva puts a really amazing tip in here about different product. And a couple of months ago, she had a whole tip all on why you want to use a 0.5 inch ruler, which is really fun. But what I wanted to show you today is that on our website, if you go, like, I'm just going to hold this up so you can sort of, hopefully you can sort of see the screen, but if you go to this inspiration tab on, you go to quality setting, the website, homepage, you hit inspiration, it takes you to this page here where it has all of Reva's tips also online, which is super great because sometimes, you know, you remember you read part of that tip and you're like, oh man, where do I go find that? I know Reva had a tip on it, but I don't remember. I read it. It was awesome. We have them all here for you. And we have a ton of great content here on our website with all, diff all sorts of different tips to help you out. So I just wanted to point that out because like I even wanted a refresher, like why do I want a 0.5 ruler, right? What am I gonna use each of these for? And Reva's done a great job explaining them in there and I was like, I bet you some people wanna know where they can find those tips um, after they recycle their catalog and they're all on the website. So let's talk about this other set of rulers we have here. It's this guy right here, it's a five pack. Of rulers. Oh, and you know what I forgot to mention in this pack over here? It also comes with a whole bunch of Alex Anderson designs. This guy also comes with quite a few different Alex Anderson designs. But this is a five pack. It has seven different quilt patterns on this design set. But this is a five, the five pack of select rulers. So this is coming with a lot of different rulers here. And I have them all out. It comes with the six by 24 inch ruler, which is probably, you know, for just cutting you know, almost anything. I use this, I use this ruler size a ton. It's a very good, good ruler to have. Um, the, and it also is coming with the three by 18 inch. Um, and this is really a nice, a nice size of ruler. I think these two might be our two most popular rulers purchased alone. Um, and they're coming in this set. But then it's also coming with these great uh, 4.5 by 4.5 inch ruler, the 3.5 by 3.5, and the 2.5 by 2.5. So you have this whole suite of rulers here all coming together in this five pack, plus the design set. Um, and it's all on sale for $99 and has a $220 value. So it's a pretty good deal for all of these rulers. Um, and they're, you know, super great. And, um, and you can see here in Reba's tip, she actually talks about how like that two and a half by two and a half inch ruler, it's really easy uh, to handle and it's per the perfect size for cutting jelly rolls, right? So you're like, oh, or, two, or, or of course, truing up um, a two inch square. So there's all of these different tips that you can check out, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so that is what I have from Quilter Select. Um, oh, and I didn't talk about the add a handle, did I? The add a handle, so this is pretty cool. With um, It's another Quilter Select product, you can buy it by itself. You can see it's right here. Just like this is what it looks like on our wall. And this add a handle is great. You just um, click, hook it here onto your ruler, you can see it just stays on there. And what's great about this is then you can just put all your pressure right there when you're cutting, I'll just turn it this way maybe, um, all that pressure right there, instead of having to have your hand like this, right, and you're worried about like, you don't wanna hit your hand or touch your finger or something, um, cause you're all, you know, most of us are really trying to make sure we're keeping it straight between this, the stickiness and the back of those, the grippiness, that's not really sticky, it's a little grip on the back of these rulers. And this, it really helps cause you can just hold it like this and cut, and cut super, super easy. And this is a great tool. It hooks onto all of the different rulers. So no matter which ruler you're using, you can like just pop it off and put it on a different ruler or you can get multiples. I mean, we love them so much that now that we have fabric in all the stores where we use them on our, um, on our fabric cutting table, we use these rulers. We use the Quilter Select rulers when we're cutting fabric for people. And we totally use the add a handle because it makes it so much nicer. Question? Yeah, Carolyn wants to know, does Quilter Select have an eight and a half by 24 and a half ruler? Because that's the size she uses most. I think they do. They have a really, they definitely have an 
Yeah, I think it's 8.5 by 24. Let me double check. I'm just not remembering right off the top. They definitely have an 8.5. They, I'm pretty sure they have a really big one. Um, and I think, yes, eight and a half by 24. Yeah, I think they have that. We can find that information and we'll add a link to it after we're done live. Yeah. So check um, back in the comments. Check back in the comments. Perfect. Um, yeah, and that's actually like a really good point. What's really been fun about Culture Select is they have first they can't they started with one set of rulers, right? But they continue to add rulers as people ask about them, as they realize there is a hole in their lineup, they are adding them. And that sort of innovation is really exciting. It's really great when we have um, you know, these different manufacturers that are constantly innovating on our behalf to create things that make it easier for sewing and quilting. Um, and, you know, Quilter Select and Alex Anderson and R&K have been doing a great job with that with these products. Okay, so let's see. I'm, I'm trying to look. What have I not talked about? I have a couple of things. So um, because we have this block here, I wanted to show you the Clover Rolling Press. Uh, I know we've talked about this before, but it is so handy. So most of us, you know, when you're piecing or something, you want to turn and press, right? And most of the time, your iron, you might have an iron close by, but sometimes, you know, you just want to finger press it. And, um, and so like right here, like I tried to make this look a little bit messy earlier. So if this is sort of out and you want to just press it, you could finger press it or this little roll and press guy, you just take it down there and just press it with the roll and press and it will just make it totally flat for you. Um, and so this is super handy. It's great to take to classes. Um, it's just great to have next to you when you just are like, where it's something that you might just finger press, but finger pressing doesn't really work that well. This works super well, um, much better than, a, than your fingers. Um, and it's, you know, it's a great thing to have in your, um, in your toolkit. The other thing I have here that, um, that we've sort of been playing with a little bit is this fun rotating cutting mat. Um, and so you can sit here and it spins. Um, so you can turn it so you don't have to turn, you don't have to move anything else, you can just turn the mat. Or earlier when you saw, you saw that because this guy is so grippy, it just, it just spins nicely as well. Um, so this is sort of a cool, um, a cool, a cool gadget. Um, all right, let's move on to the Kai scissors. So up here, one of the scissors we have in there is the Kai blunt tip five inch snip. So why would you want a blunt tip scissor, right? Don't we want our scissors sharp? Well, the blunt tip is actually sort of amazing. I love, love these scissors. So there's a couple things about these scissors and I have them out here so you can see them. So this is the five inch blunt tip. So first there's this nice hump here and this hump is super great when you have, if this was hoop still and hoop it back up so we can sort of pretend, always better to have a visual. So if this guy, if I had this hooped on here, right? and I've got this sort of bump from my hoop and I need to get in there and trim something, having this bump here can be helpful because if I was trimming it really close right here on this edge of where this hoop is, sometimes getting, um, getting my scissors in there doesn't work very well. So you can snip really easily because of the curved, the curved scissor, okay? But the unique thing is look at how sharp, this is a more of a traditional, um, Traditional point, it's very sharp. The blunt tip has just been blunted, so it's just, it's not quite as sharp. You can just sort of see the difference there. Um, it has that nice blunt tip. And the beautiful thing about a blunt tip scissor is now when I get in here to snip something, right, I am way less likely to accidentally gouge my fabric. Or if you're working with really delicate fabric where like that little point, just nicking it is gonna create a small hole, you're not gonna have that problem with a blunt tip scissor. Um, so obviously sometimes you do really want a sharp point, right? If you're cutting, you know, maybe you're doing applique, if there's sometimes you really want a sharp point for like fussy cutting things, but sometimes for snipping, you want to get in there and you want to make sure that you're not actually going to nick your fabric. That is when a blunt tip scissor is beautiful. So, um, can't recommend these enough. These are some of my favorite. And Kai, if you're not familiar with Kai, Kai is a Japanese brand and they make a beautiful scissors. We carry their full line of scissors. They have beautiful dressmaking shears. They have a professional grade scissor. Um, they make all different sizes of scissors. Uh, they have the seam ripper. Um, they really have all the different things that you might, um, that you might want in a shear or blade basically. Um, and they do a beautiful job. So there's 
pitch on Kai. So over here, one other thing I have too on my table here is uh, it's this adjustable thread stand. And I'll grab a little box here. This is the, the box here, it's an adjustable thread stand. Thread stands are really handy to have because this one is adjustable so you can adjust it based on the size of your cone and what you need it to do. But a thread stand is great because sometimes when you have thread on a cone, one, you might want to be using a really large cone on your domestic sewing machine and that large cone won't fit on your machine, right? Because you don't have the space for it. So you would put, you put the thread stand behind your machine and then you would thread it up and through just like you normally would, okay? So, um, so that's, that's great for really large cones, but it can also be sometimes you have just a spool of thread that just the way it's winding off of your, of your, um, of, you know, of your spool pin, it's just not working quite right, which is why sometimes I'll recommend instead of having as your spool pin where your, th your thread goes on this way, you use the upright spool pin, that can also help. But sometimes if you have a thread that's just like a metallic or you have something that's a really, you're using something for some decorative technique and it's just not working quite right, oftentimes putting it on a, um, a spool, you know, a thread stand behind your machine will help it sort of unwind itself and then by the time it gets into your machine, it's gonna work better, if that makes sense, because it's not all tight. It's just not immediately going from the spool to your machine. It has time to sort of relax a little bit before it, it's actually being sewn with. So that is another time that this is super handy, but you can see it works with all different sizes, depending, and then since this is adjustable, you can, um, you can adjust it. It also makes it a lot easier for storage because you don't have this giant, you know, and this is all the way up, I think it goes to 15 inches. Um, uh, it's pretty tall. So that is the thread stand. So let's see here, I think I just have one more item to talk about, and that is the snap hoop. Carrie's looking too, we're like, did I miss anything else? What did I miss? Okay, so this product is called the Snap Hoop, and you can see there's a box right here, and they come in all different sizes, right? So this is, the one I'm using here, this is a five, a five by seven Snap Hoop, um, and they work for all of the different brands. Most of the different brands, you can order a Snap Hoop to fit your Fa, your Viking, your Bermina, your Baby Lock, your Brother. Um, they have all of the different styles out there, and then they come in different sizes depending on your machine. Because some machines don't have, um, you know, they're only gonna let you use a hoop size that's gonna work for your embroidery area of your machine. So like this is a five by seven, here's the eight by eight one for the Brother Baby Locks that can handle an eight by eight hoop. But what's cool about these hoops, let me just pull this guy apart so I can show you. Um, it is magnetic. So you can see here, you've got the bottom hoop here, and then you have this top here, um, and it comes with this little corrugated piece of plastic that I set over there, but that if you, I, you, you really don't ever wanna put them just like this because they're really hard to take apart if you don't have fabric or something in between there. So let me just show you how easy it is to use. You just lay it down here. Like you can see here, this will eventually become a tote bag. Um, you can see how it would, when you would sew it up, it would become a tote bag. But you know, if this was, let's say, if let's say you're embroidering, a table runner or something long and you want to embroider it and then move it and then embroider it and then move it, this is gonna be really helpful. Um, it can also be helpful to, um, to embroider things uh, that are awkward shapes. So all I do is just lay it down and then it just snaps on there, right? So you can see, look how, look how well that holds, right? It just snaps it on there and then I could embroider here and then I can move it on to the next spot. Um, so the snap hoops are super easy to use. They're really helpful. Um, they're really helpful for a lot of different applications. Um, and like I said, they come in all of the different sizes and they are all on sale right now on the website. So check that out. So I think that I have covered, I'm double checking. I think I got everything that I wanted to talk about today covered. Um, I hope that that was helpful. There are so many amazing tools and accessories out there to help you with your sewing, right? And we all know that when you have the right tool, um, it, makes, it makes it so much easier. So check these out, we have them on the website, we have them in our store locations, um, uh, we can ship them to you if you order online, uh, we'll get those shipped out to you, or they're in the store, you can come in and peruse them in stores, um, or you can even order them online for pickup in store. However you are comfortable shopping, we are here for you. If you have questions and comments and you weren't watching this live, please just post those into the comments and we'll get back to you. Um, and we will let you know about that 8.5 by 24 inch ruler uh, right after we get done here. 
Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day.